Hello and welcome to your local note. Uh, we've got another vidcast for going on tonight. We've got uh, spelling reform, and uh, you'll see a couple guys you've seen here before, and we'll be talking with them. We've got Dan, Mark, and Andrew from Spelling Reform. It's a new band of veteran musicians here in the Philadelphia area. They've got a new EP out called Diving Bell. We're going to be talking about that, and also talking about uh, how uh, they're old friends to the show. We appreciate that they're here again. All right, we're going to start off with uh, Together Apart on your local note. They showered early and caught the 9 p.m. train. We were late again. We had no shadows left on the dock. And sometimes the you is not the you you think. It can be something else The lonely alternative To the unwritten rules And the wine on the floor You left it but I Felt the need to clean it up Haven't I had enough Cause you can be Together apart, cause you can be, you can be together apart, you can be together apart. I drove home early with a bag full of rocks. And some blue napkins I stole from the restaurant Everyone there was younger than me And I felt out of place Cause I'm not that old yet I don't even own a pair of glasses But I put my napkin in my lap And I knew all the wine I hid it well, but did you think you knew what you wanted? Or did you think wrong and hard about it? Cause you can be together apart, cause you can be, you can be together apart, you can be together. that I realize that there are no rules I can do whatever I want there's nothing to think about cause if you stop to reflect then you'll pause and you've lost it as soon as you recognize you have to act Cause you can be together apart Cause you can be, you can be together apart You can be together apart You don't have to destroy yourself You can wait for somebody else To do it for you You just have to keep a straight face Realize that everyone's breath Is ruining everyone else's Otherwise perfect life And 
there's nothing you can do. And the song is called Together Apart. The band is Spelling Reform. And the EP is Diving Bell. And this is yourlocalnote.com. Appreciate you joining us this evening. And uh, would like to welcome the guys from Spelling Reform. Uh, it's a new band, but we've got familiar faces here, which is always good. And Dan, you're you're just, you know, a regular now. Apparently. The, I, I, I live just down the hall now. <laughs> you know, it's pretty easy for me to make it. You know? This is your fifth appearance. I think. I think that's what we determined. Two so that's, with Quell Source. Two with the Quell source one with Chair- Monday Appreciation Society and one with Chairman Dance. One with the Chairman Dances and, and now we got Spelling, spelling Reform. Reform. Okay, very good. And you good. know all those bands went on to millions of dollars of fame <laughs> and fortune and I just <laughs> you I can't just... go wrong. You know, everyone's a hit. And uh, Mark, you're back. Yes. Excellent to to, to see you. Um, and then Andrew, you're new. Yeah. Say hello to everyone. Hi. Okay, there we go. (laughs) All right. right. Uh, Let's talk about the song first, Together Apart. Uh, uh, Dan, did you write that? I did. Okay, let's talk about that song. What is that about? Uh, It's sort of about uh, how you can, you know, uh, be okay in person with people and mentally just not be very well. Okay, I got you. So there you Uh, go. All right, very cool. Um, Now with this band... Mm -hmm. You formed it, and you, you included Mark. Was that something that you had talked about? Because you were working on another project, and now you've got this project going on. No, uh, I knew that I always wanted to have Mark in the band. So okay. the call source broke up, and then Mark and I worked together on the Monday Appreciation Society record right, together. Right. And then once we finished recording, that was when I asked Mark to be in the band. Okay. So, so and I assumed that he would say yes because... Mark's a nice guy. Because you got to keep playing. <laughs> okay. You can't have any yeah. downtime. You really got to keep, you know. All right. Keep so, with, with, because the Monday Appreciation uh, Club, that was more of Mark's project. Yeah, Mark wrote all the songs, and I would just sort of acted as the producer helper. And, and helper yeah. and just all around nice guy. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> then after that, you were like, okay, but you still wanted to work with Dan? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, hard to believe. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. the two of us had been in the Quell Source together as well. Okay. I kind of joined later okay. in, like, that band's uh, life. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, like, we've been friends for years. So, okay. You know, so, it was just a natural move yeah, for you. Yeah, it's a natural. You know, All right. Just from one project to the next. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then how did you rope it? I mean, how did you get Andrew into this? <laughs> I gave him three beers. And that was a, he's a lightweight. Okay. No. Uh, well, yeah, I did. I took him out for beers and asked him if he wanted to be in the band. So, okay. and then same with Tom. Actually, I knew, I've known Tom longer than I've known both of you guys even. So, yeah. Tom was... Uh, Tom? He was an easy sell. He's our bassist, and he's not here. Okay. How about that? There Just, you go. He's on vacation. Oh. He's a great guy. Okay. Hey, Tom, if you're listening. Hello. Yeah. So now with, with this uh, project, you're <clears throat> taking more of a, uh, uh, I guess, forefront in the in the writing process? Yeah. Uh, or did you write most of the songs I on, did. on this? Yeah, okay. so these four songs I wrote um, all before the band got together. So uh, it was really just... This is how the song goes. Let's figure out how it goes together. Stuff we've worked on since then uh, has sort of been like that and also been more collaborative. So it, it really just depends on the tune. In putting this band together, did you have in mind specific people like Mark because you 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 were on the same page as far as what you want to accomplish with your music? Oh, yeah, definitely. Same with Mark. And Andrew and I were playing in a band, and we still are, called Birdwatcher together. And I really liked playing guitar with him. We play, both play lead guitar there. Okay. And I just really liked how he was... You you uh, like to have several different projects going on at the same time. Yeah, I have no choice. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> gotta just keep them all together. So it's it's nice because uh, in this band I write all the songs. Right. And then in Birdwatcher I play more of just the lead stuff. So I get to keep both of my my only two skills. I gotta keep I, them okay. both both sharp. And, and, and Mark, how many projects do you have going on? Uh, three. Three. Uh, because I'm also in Birdwatcher. As oh, well. okay. And so <laughs> is Andrew. And so yeah, the three of us are. Yeah. Okay. So the reason we have these things is because there's a bunch of songwriters. In like our group of musicians. Oh, okay. So everybody kind of has their own vehicle for their songs, and we all kind of share in terms so you, of like the music. So for this project, aspect of it, you take a you take a step back yes. and let Dan be in the forefront, and then for the other project, Mark is more in the forefront, and you take a step back. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's interesting. But in terms of like the kind of like the band. Uh, there's a give and take, like with all the bands. Like, there's one main songwriter generally. Okay. But all of the bands are pretty democratic in like, sure. how we go about well, doing but you, things. You, like, for this. I told Mark to say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for, for spelling reform, Dan comes in with the ideas, and then you guys help 
formulate yep. the the, uh, the end song or yep. the end product. And then with the other project, you come in with the ideas and then let them do their yep. part. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it works out for you guys. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. We haven't killed each other yet. Okay. So. Do you ever get to a point where you're like, no, I want that song for this project and not this project? Uh, no, because normally uh, we each only have one sort of songwriting vehicle. So, like, I'm only writing songs for this band and no other band. So, this is okay. where my songs go. And Mark's, There was a yeah. point, actually, that we did try to combine into one band, into one... All, all the songwriters. There were into four one. of us, and, like, all of us wrote songs. Um, and it actually worked pretty well, but then I think everybody was getting a good amount of material on their own. Okay. And you have to split time when you have four songwriters. Yeah, in band. yeah. So then that, you know kind of eventually dissolved. Okay. And now we have just a bunch of uh, groups in place of like <laughs> yeah, one group. A bunch of, okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's great. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better collection of people to throw stuff around with, you know, and everyone's always around and available to play. And it, so. and it helps that you have known each other for a while. Yeah. And you understand what you're trying to accomplish with, with each project. Yeah, we all, we all know each other's rhythms. And, you know, yeah. and like Andrew, who I hadn't played with before, like about a year ago, you know, he just fit right in. So that's, that's nice. And Andrew, you <clears throat> do some songwriting yourself or? Not much, to be honest. Uh, you do a little bit. Don't, don't, oh, don't okay. be so modest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nothing that has made it outside of my phone yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, then. Uh, let's play so- uh, song number two, and it's going to be live, so we got a special treat here. Uh, we'll play that, and then we'll come back, we'll talk about that, and we'll talk about how you guys uh, do uh, produce uh, this EP. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right, it. this uh, song is called Fake Conversations. It's from the EP Diving Bell, and the band is Spelling Reform on yourlocalnote.com. stopped listening to your songs some time ago it's not because i didn't like you but pretend you're me in the diving bell you built for me got other things to say so why don't you say them your body is haunted your brain is broken i step outside every day and rarely think of you even when you're falling asleep you who 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 should do can tell that the story that you tell yourself ended a long time ago with a perfect shrug but I was one of the few wasn't I who could say that she really knew you other things to say so why don't you say them your body is haunted 
your brain is broken I step outside every day And rarely think of you Even when you're falling asleep The library is closed The shuttle bus has left They wouldn't let you on anyway, I guess But I grant you the inalienable right To have as many fake conversations with me as you like But I won't be there to hear them That's the price ba 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 Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank that you. That is Spelling Reform. The song is called Fake Conversations from the EP Diving Bell. All right, let's talk about this song, Fake Conversations, listening to it. Uh, there's an undertone of, I guess, ang- is it a little passive aggressive there. Yeah, I wrote, it, I wrote it about you. Okay. RJ. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm going to tell you. Set myself up for that one. There's a softball. Band. No, sorry. It's uh, no. I thought it would be interesting to write a song. You know, I wrote so many songs, and so many people do where the you is you're talking to somebody else, which is right. how what you is obviously. Right. But I thought it would be interesting to sort of flip that so the you in that song is me, and it's some sort of fictional woman telling me what an idiot I am, basically. Oh, okay. So I was unhappy with myself. So you were, you yeah. were just you're feeling a little down with yourself. Yeah, and, and I thought okay. it would be interesting to say like I'm really sad about my life to have somebody else tell me. You're being stupid. This is, uh, so it's sort of more of a storyteller type of thing than a real life experience type of song. Uh, yeah, um, and it, but, you know, I think a storyteller, it would be a little more obvious. I don't know that you just listening to that now would be able to figure that out. No, I but I'm not the brightest guy going, so, you know. <laughs> I don't, you know, don't sell yourself short, <laughs> no, RJ. No, mm-hmm. no you're, I, I see what you're saying on that. Yeah. Um, it, it's not easy to decipher, but at the same time, you, you do get the, the point of what you were, you were trying to say. Yeah, so um, I, it's a little subtle. Okay, yeah. with with the songwriting net process now, I mean, you've written a ton of songs. Do you consciously try to say, well, you know, this sounds too much like this project I was playing with. I want this to be different. Or do you just write a song and you're like, okay, I like the way it sounds. I don't care if people say, well, you know, that sounded something like you did a couple of years ago with this project. Yeah, you know, I write, I mean, I'm writing all the time. And so I'm going through my own sort of calling process Sorry, I'll take a step back. Like, I'll just write, I'll finish the song that I think needs to be finished. You know, this song needs X, Y, and Z. That's what the song needs. If it sounds like something else I've done before, then I just won't do anything with it. Or I'll bring it to these guys and say, like, I like this song, but we got to do something else. We need some something different. I'll let them add the twist to it to change it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm done thinking about this song. You figure it out. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Okay. So, so that does go through your head as you're putting songs together. Well, sure. I mean, at a certain point, you must say, like, oh, yeah, I already used that that set of chords in that other song. And, you know, Mark probably runs in, you run the same thing, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, of course. It's, it's a constant battle to try and not do what you've already done. Okay. Which and is part of the fun then. It's a yes, good challenge. Yes. Yeah. So then you got to be honest with each other. If you if he brings a song in uh, and you say to him, geez, that sounds some, uh, familiar. Or if he says this is something that needs a twist, he's putting pressure on you guys to come up with something to make it sound different. Yeah. Uh, we're usually pretty good if there's a song that like we're going over and over again and it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, we're pretty good at just keeping with it. And like we'll try, I like anything really. I okay. Like we'll try a bunch of different ideas until all of us are at the point where it's like, hey, I think we're kind of getting somewhere with this. It's either you know, hey, we're is, getting somewhere. This is kind of cool now. Or, there's no, there is no yeah. other or. And then, yeah, we no, just we keep just going. keep working. Oh, really? really? Um, if there, if there was to be a song that just was not working out after, you know, 
That's the thing that we keep going. I don't know. We haven't had that situation yet. <laughs> we haven't had yet. that situation. Okay. Uh, that, we that. could, yeah. We have a song that'll be on our, L- our LP called Dead Days that I I think we yeah. have like 65 yeah. take, live takes on my computer. <laughs> if you want the Dead Days box set, the, <laughs> just for you two, I'll give it to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Autograph it for me, <laughs> please. Sure, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Then, then we got it. We're good. Um, then you uh, self-produced this. Uh, so we self-recorded it. We didn't self-produce it. Our friend uh, Jesse Soifer, who worked with the Quell Source, okay, um, worked with Monday Appreciation Society. Uh, uh, he recorded some of it also, and then mixed it, and then we mastered it with Turtle Studios. Uh, oh, okay, in, in South Philly. Okay, um, but you're obviously very comfortable with him to have him yeah, work he, with you. I mean, he's awesome. He uh, works for Galactic Cat Audio now, um, and he's run sound at Armor Music Hall and. Uh, and then he tours with a bunch of bands. He's just a, I think he's an unsung hero of the Philadelphia audio scene. Okay. Um, with this, so does he give you a lot of input as far as when you're recording or? He does, yeah. And, you know, the thing that, I mean, so he recorded a lot of fake conversations with us. And, you know, he, one thing that I'll remember is that, you know, the song's kind of contemplative and quiet and he's like let's all just listen to the what we have so far before we start recording again and get in the mood and we'll lower the lights and you know so he's trying to get us in the right mindset and he's not afraid to be like that was bad do that again you know so but in order to do that you've got to have trust in each other yeah oh yeah and so that i mean yeah we've known jesse now for a long time it's an open forum too where like if we're doing something that he hears and he's like i don't know how i feel about that but um, it goes both ways. Like if he tries something out, he's like, okay, well, let's try this for a second. And if he does something and then like we're doing the playback and we're listening and we're like, eh, how about we don't do that? Oh, okay. You know, it's an open thing. <laughs> and like, and, and he's not, cool with that. Yeah, yeah he, exactly. You can't he definitely be too sensitive defers to us, that which, is, stuff, you know? which is nice. So Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so sensitivity gets left at the door. Yeah. yeah. He's very open, which is. I just comes with knowing people. Okay. For a good amount of time, too. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Very, very good. Um, with this, when you when you were approaching this project, um, did you? I mean, because I listen to you and I hear the song, and in in my head, I still hear a little bit of Quell Source. I don't sure. think I don't think you'll ever be able to get totally away from that. Mm-hmm. I mean, because that's was something that was your baby. That was your project. Um, but do you, I mean, how, I guess, obsessed do you become with trying to be completely different? Uh, I don't think I become obsessed. I mean, it's mostly different people. We have, we don't have any keyboards, you know, and uh, so that sound is sort of not involved here. Um, but I think we just, we just, we're just us. And if it sounds a little bit like the Quill Source, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. You know, it wasn't like the Quill Source sold a million records I understand. And, you know I understand so. that but I mean and I, I I use them but you've been involved in, in a lot of different yeah. projects so I mean yeah it, no I mean it's like you know it's the same people I'm the, the same guy right or right. am I no I am <laughs> <laughs> okay um <clears throat> now you said you're gonna you're also working on an LP yeah so we've got I mean the thing that's really nice um about taking some time between the closer and when spelling reform started is I just sort of compiled a whole bunch of songs. We've got 15 songs earmarked for our next, uh, uh, for our LB, <clears throat> which we'll start recording soon. soon. Will some of these yeah. songs that you have now go on the LP? So all these songs we're playing today are from the EP, but everything else has this possibility for the LP. So for people who are at Johnny Brenda's on Saturday, we'll be playing a ton of stuff uh, that we can't, you know, we can't the just play these four the songs and leave. That are on the EP. I mean, everything is going to be okay. Fair game. A new, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, did you just do the AP to get uh, EP to get something out there as you were continuing to work on the LP? Yeah, I felt like these songs thematically sort of went together. That said, I don't think uh, sonically they necessarily go together, um, mm-hmm. which is fine with me. I like that. I think we have uh, we've got some songs that are sort of like like a snarling sort of pop rock, but that like together apart. And we've got a couple songs like Fake Conversations that are just a little subtle contemplative stuff. And I wanted to showcase that we have both of those. So okay. it's not, you know. It's also not, an EP. That's what, that's what like EPs are so you you know, use good e- for. You, you, know? you, e- you use EP to showcase upcoming, an upcoming album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like so different this, size. It doesn't like have to have the same kind of cohesive sound 
or like theme that uh, you might expect off of like a full album or an LP. Right, right. You can kind of play around a little bit more with an EP. It's not as strict. The, the reason I ask and where I'm leading up to, and I, I talk to a, a lot of bands about this, is the fact that, you know, CDs, full CDs sales are down. Sure. So why would you do that instead of just saying, taking you, you got the EP out, Let's do another EP. You can get it out quicker, and then you get out another EP even you know faster. So all of a sudden you have twelve songs out, but you've concentrated on those four or five songs uh, equally. Instead of now coming out with an album, it's a little more difficult to concentrate on all ten, twelve, fourteen songs, whatever you you, um, uh, you know come up with. Yeah. So I don't know. We're all big album people. I mm-hmm. think you know. Yeah. So. It's never a question in my mind to not put out an album at some point. An album is the thing, you know. If okay. Like a, yeah, we're kind so, of old school in that regard. Absolutely. Uh, it's where our hearts are. Yeah. You know. So, uh, so it's got to be. You got to put it out. We're going to put it out on vinyl. You know. I know. So. And, I, I guess it helps that you self-produce or self-record this, mm-hmm. so you don't. You're you're not looking for studio time. Mm. Yeah. Although we may be going to the studio. This is a conversation we need to have moving forward we've and we've had this sort of informally you know how what we haven't really talked much about how we want to record this lp so it's there's a possibility you may go into a studio sure i don't know i don't know it's all a mystery (laughs) we may record it right here and you might record it for us (laughs) oh boy (laughs) we've talked about rates yeah (laughs) (laughs) i have no comeback for that you guys left me speechless produced by rj you don't like the sound you guys are in trouble that's for sure (laughs) all right uh let's go on to the second song you're going to play live and then we'll come back oh yeah and we will uh talk about that then we'll talk about where you're going to be playing uh, and where people can find your music. Perfect. All, all that good stuff coming up after you play this song, this song that they're performing live. It is called Live Well. Again, it's from the EP Diving Bell. <laughs> uh, the band is spelling reform, and this is yourlocalnote.com. All right, good. You've got to hear where I've been And what great shape I believe that I'm in I may be a shadow But they can't hurt me now They can't hurt me now Well, I'd be lying if I didn't want The news of the war A dispatch from the front Cause I was a plan, an experiment But I can't hurt me now, I can't hurt me now, no Sing out of the ending hours Live well in the coldest towns Remember your one love She can't hurt you now, she can't hurt you now Sing out of the ending hours Live well in the coldest towns Remember your one love She can't hurt you now She can't hurt you now Sing out of the ending hours Live well in the coldest towns Towns. Re- 
right, there you have it. That is Spelling Reform, and the song is called Live Well. I'm doing it live here in the studio, sounding great. And the EP is Diving Bell. Live Well. Dan, what is that about? Uh, it's one of the... So, actually, I should say I, I uh, was happily... Uh, I got married uh, almost two years ago at mm-hmm. this point. Congratulations. So that was one of the first songs I wrote after getting married. Um, so you're in a good mood? I am in a good mood. Okay. Should I not be? No, I'm, you asked that in such I was a... Saying, when you wrote the so song, mysterious. No, no. When you wrote the song, you're in a good mood. <laughs> oh, you're in a happy, a good mood. A happy, yeah. happy place. Uh, yeah. And so it's sort of... The, the song is just sort of like from the other side of of being sort of committed to somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, um, just looking at things from that angle, which is a, a new angle for okay. me. Okay. Very good. So there you go. So... Um, <laughs> Does your wife know that you wrote that song about uh, your marriage? Yeah, yeah. And, and she approved it. Did you have sure. to? Did you have to? Did you have to run it by her and say? <laughs> no, no, but it was yeah. definitely just like, hey, look, I wrote this song, okay. which is kind of part of the fun of That's being good. of having somebody be like, listen to this. Excellent. You know? <laughs> Very good. All right, I'm just giving you a hard time there. Um, all right, let's talk about where you guys are uh, playing. Uh, yeah, we're at Johnny Brenda's, which is probably my favorite place to play in the city uh, on Saturday. July 18th, so this Saturday. Okay. Um, with Shark Tape, some of our really good friends uh, we've known since back in the Quell Source, and uh, Good Night Lights, who I've, we've also known since back in the Quell Source, so it's the old guard. Okay. Uh, coming so together again. It's going to be the, a fun all night. All the Civil War generals. Yes. Back. Wow. Civil War. <laughs> yeah. Not that old, but uh, it, so it's going to be a fun night because you guys all know each other, have played together yeah, before. Yeah, it's going to be great, and we're going to have uh, the leads, uh, Mike from Good Night Lights and Steve from Shark Tape come up and sing oh, cool. Replacements cover Oh, nice. uh, with us going to do Unsatisfied. So okay. it should be uh, a and, real. And this that, is, yeah, well, you know, we can, <laughs> the people who tune in, they can get they get a little bit of a sneak preview of what they look forward to. <laughs> Andrew, so. you didn't know that? Uh, yeah, I no, he they did. Just found out tonight. I thought it was we were going to tell him right before. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, Andrew, we're doing this song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's really just an advertisement for a new guitarist who can play who can play a replacement wow, song. Wow, no, wow, there we go. Just and, kidding. And it's a, and it's an EP release party, right? It is, and actually, Goodnight Lights are also putting out an EP. Oh, so okay. So it's a, it's a dual. We were trying to figure out the right wording. It's a dual EP the, release party. A double EP release party would mean very a, cool. One band was putting out two EPs. It's, it's a it's a language thing. I understand. So, that can get yeah. difficult. I know it gets difficult yeah. for me. Um, let's talk about uh, where people can find your music. Sure. So uh, spellingreform.bandcamp.com is uh, where you'll be able to stream it. Mm-hmm. It'll be on Spotify and iTunes and all that good stuff. Okay. And we're going to put it on a self-released CD. So you can pick that up uh, online at the show. And then the most exciting thing for us is uh, the guys from Hope for the Tape Deck label are putting out the record on cassette and we forgot to mention the first song that we played that's right was the version you'll hear on the cassette yeah one of the, one one of the versions yeah okay. so the thing that's the thing that's cool about the cassette is the a side will be the ep the studio versions then the b side will be my demos that i made for the band and okay. those are going to be exclusive to the cassette okay so um it'll also come with a download code so even if you don't have a cassette player which you should because they're pretty cool still even I, if people are, you know, not all I still it. have a cassette player. Well, then, then well, you're the I'm man. But I'm an old guy, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think the cassette is the way to go. I think, you know, you get four extra songs and that you can't get anywhere else. So, pers- and, personally, you're a big fan of the cassette. Yeah, you know, I uh, actually, um, all, one of my, I guess now there are label mates, uh, Graham Rapolsky. is a guy I've known for a couple of years, and he puts out stuff on cassette with Hope for the Tape Deck, and I think he's great. So. Okay. So that's cool. Very yeah. good. Very good. All right. Uh, and I didn't ask this, but uh, besides the EP release party, I wanted to concentrate on that. Other shows after that? Yeah, we're playing in Brooklyn on July 31st with Goodnight Lights, actually, as well, at uh, Bar Matchless. Okay. And so that's uh, that's all we've got uh, so, far. so far. But you'll let us know and we'll, we'll I sure will. promote it for you. Okay. Happy to do. Very cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate having it. Yeah. yeah. We, we, I like I like this new spot. You like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was important that Dan gave us that approval. <laughs> <laughs> because he's been here so often. Yeah. Because I would hate for him to say, I'm never coming back. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll discuss minor changes to the track lighting <laughs> after we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> More pictures of Dan. Yeah. <laughs> More pictures of Dan. Yeah, right. there you go. Thanks. Uh, but seriously, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks for coming in. Really, thank appreciate you for it. having us. I re- I really like what you guys are doing here, and you've doing it for so long. I'm v- I'm very impressed. We're and, we're gonna uh, you know we're gonna keep at it, and we've got some other ideas that we're working on, and we're just gonna keep going and see what uh, where we go with it. Spelling you know? Reform Radio. I told you that. There we the go. Way. All yeah. right, Spelling <laughs> Reform Radio. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll yeah we'll, we'll talk about that. All right, All right let's uh, wrap it up with uh, oh, and 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 again, best of luck with the new EP and coming up this Saturday with the EP release party. Thanks. Uh, Boy who can't read. What is it about? Uh, this is a song that's been around for a while. You know, sometimes I think as a songwriter, you you accumulate a bunch of songs, and then sometimes they, you hold on to them, and for whatever reason, they don't work. And then at some point, you just got to get them out there. And so this is one that's just like... You've been working on it for a while. Yeah, and it, I don't want to say I've been working on it for a while. No, I've had it for a okay, while. Okay, yeah, And it's sort of while. bounced okay. between project and project. I worked on the Quill Source, worked on it with Lookout Houston, and now... Did you play it live often? Uh, a couple times, yeah. And the and response so, was pretty good? No. So, <laughs> but now, but the studio on, version... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was going to say, now the, st- yeah, the studio version's got a really great guitar solo from Andrew, like so blazing. Cha- yeah, you change it up a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. It's a little sparser. Uh, but it's, it's a fun tune. Yeah, I like it. It's a bouncy it. pop rock. Okay. Yeah. That song. So All right, very I'm good. happy that it's on the EP. Excellent. Despite what these guys might say. <laughs> well, it's so unusual to give you, you guys giving each other a hard time. <laughs> All right, again, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, again, they've got their EP release party this Saturday. The EP is Diving Bell. And uh, we're going to wrap things up with uh, Boy Who Can't Read on yourlocalnote.com. My desire to be marked like only you know it